everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm Mark the Tech Guy. Today we're going to take a look at the new iOS 7 that is in beta mode right now and was released last week. So I've been test drivers now for about a week and there are some major changes that have been made and this is probably the, the biggest change since they started making the iPhone. So let's take a look at some of the changes. So right off the hop, you can see right at the top there for your signal bars, now they are circles. I don't know if I like that, that's, you know, whatever. There's Rogers, Wi-Fi, and now if you look over to the right, you have an actual battery, and it shows that it's green. Now you can see that little thunderbolt there, that means the phone is charging, which is pretty cool. Now if you go into your calendars, now this is one thing I'm not a real big fan of. Um, in you know previous ones, the, the previous one is better than this one, and it seems like they've gone a step back with this calendar app. Um, let's see if they fix this in the final version. Um, June, you know, you can go back as far as you want, or as far in the fo in the future as you want. But I just don't like how they have the circles around the days and it just looks really plain so you got today calendars and inbox so I'm gonna back out of here and now if you go into your photos which I'm not gonna go because I have a lot of photos um, it will categorize them now when the date they were taken and it'll put them all together also in the places they were taken and they'll be in groups which is pretty cool as well now if you open up the camera app you're gonna see there's the video there's photo square which is more for like posting pictures on Instagram or stuff like that uh, pano which is you know panoramic so a cool feature that uh, there's a rumor that this is going to be released when the final version is done you will be able to record video and pinch to zoom while recording a video that will be very cool and let's see if that does come out in the final version so if you swipe up now you're gonna see this brings up uh, everything at your fingertips here so you have your airplane mode your Wi-Fi Bluetooth your brightness your music airdrop for everyone is you can drop files to anybody in your contacts list so now you can send files to anybody in your contacts and I have my airplay which right now attached to my computer so I can do this screen share um, there's flashlight, there's your your uh, clock, your calculator, and your camera. Now you can also access the camera just like in the previous one from the, the beginning if you swipe up. Which I thought was pretty cool. And it's pretty quick as well. So a lot of people have been having a lot of issues with this software because it is new and I haven't had very many issues I have had where some apps will not start because maybe they're not updated for the iOS 7 yet um, a lot I, I know my my screen capture software doesn't work with the new iOS 7 so I have to use my iPad to do some of my video reviews um, now you can see in the background you can see the circles are actually going around now if you move the phone they actually go back and forth right now I'm moving the phone from left to right and you can see them they're like animated backgrounds and you can actually access them through settings now here are the settings and you can see that they have the white background with the blue logos and I like that it looks clean it looks nice I like that and they've gone pretty much that way with everything with your email um, you know when you go into the app store it's all got that kind of look 
So if I go on my email, you can see, see it's got the white background with the blue logos, which is pretty cool. Um, you can go into the App Store, and it's got the same thing along the bottom. So I do like that. Game Center has made a lot of changes. Now you can see they have circles. You can see two games, turns, challenges, friends, and requests. And it just seems pretty simple as well. Now, here's another one. Now, you guys that have jailbroken your iPhones before will see a lot of these changes are inspired inspired Apple to make the changes themselves. So if you go into your games, well for me, if I go into my slot machine games, I like to play the slots so I have a lot of them. And before I would have to put them in two or three different folders, now you can put as many apps as you want into one folder, which is pretty cool. So you can see they're all in one folder and I like that. Now that was something that was added into the iOS 7 and it's been out on jailbroken devices for a long time now. Um, oh here's another one. You swipe down and you know you got your calendars and all and then missed. So you can get out of that. Um, if you double tap to cancel so now when you want to cancel your applications from running in the background all you have to do is swipe up and you can see they just fly away now I like that better than the way you had to click on the arrow because I would always keep clicking and then eventually I would miss it and it would go and open the app so I thought that was pretty cool and you know there's a there's an app like that in the jailbroken app store that allows you just to erase them all at once so that's it that's a first look at the iOS 7 now people have been having issues where um, they found that their phones were overheating and the battery life is not that great um, the only issues I've had was some of my apps just not working and not very many but uh, this is the beta and if you're looking to upgrade I would hold off and at least wait until there's another few more upgrades to the iOS 7 before you go ahead and try this out for yourself um, I'm thinking of seriously switching back because you know there's a lot of things that I want to be able to do with my phone that I can't now because I have upgraded. So guys, thanks for watching the first video of the first look at the iOS 7. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are going to upgrade to this or you're going to wait till September to get this. So guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.